Welcome back to the Summer Rain Channel. Today we're making a very, very homemade bubble bath. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I post a new video every week. I also post a link to my blog where I give you the full recipe on how to make this. Um, I go over all the ingredients, why we use them, and all of that jazz. Let's go ahead and make our bubble bath. In our bubble bath, we use two different surfactants. The first one is cocoa mitopropyl butene, which is a very thin liquid. The second surfactant that we use is cocoa glucoside, and as you can tell, that's quite a bit thicker. In this recipe, we're also going to use vegetable glycerin, which is a humectant. We're going to use a preservative. Now, there's two trains of thought on that. There's some that would say that since the recipe does not contain water, we don't need a preservative. Um, I like to put it in just because if your bubble bath is by the tub or if you're putting it under the water faucet, you might get water in it. So I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's why I put the preservative in. I guess you could leave it out if you wanted to. And then we have our fragrance oil. Mine is a very berry fragrance oil. So we'll go ahead and just start with the mixing container. I'm going to put the cocoa glucoside in first. And then we'll go ahead and add in the cocoa mitopropyl butene. And then I just like to give it a good mix. Next, we go ahead and add our vegetable glycerin. And then we're going to want to mix it again. And as you can see, that's already pretty thick. We're also going to need to lower the pH of our bubble bath. I like the pH to be about five, five and a half. So we need a pH meter and we lower the pH of our bubble bath with citric acid. So to start, we're going to go ahead and check the pH of our bubble bath solution. And it's already 9.63 so we know that we need to lower it to lower the pH of our bubble bath we're just gonna go ahead and add citric acid you don't need very much at all um, in fact I just put a little bit in there I go ahead and mix it and I recheck it to see if the pH is where we need it to be I would rather recheck it a few times than put too much in um, and lower our pH too far so we just give it a quick mix and then we allow this to sit for a few minutes Okay, so I let this sit for a few minutes. What I'm going to do is go ahead and test the pH. And I'm at about 5.63. I'm fine with that. It's pretty close to 5.5. So I know that's not the easiest to see, um, but I do have the fragrance oil in here. I put it in this container because I like to mix the mica right into the fragrance oil. That way I don't have to worry about stirring the surfactants very much the mica is already dispersed because otherwise we're going to wind up with quite a bit of bubbles so i just stir the mica powder right in with my fragrance oil and then we just go ahead add our fragrance oil and mica and at the same time i'm going to add our preservative and then we just go ahead and give this a good mix And I really love the peacock blue color that I have. And there is your bubble bath. And then we just take our bubble bath and we pour it into our container. And then you just put the lid on and enjoy your homemade bubble bath.